We actually always intended it to be a dust bath, but because chickens like to dust bathe where it's dry, we haven't been able to use it that way. So I'll get to the, the chicken's dust bath in a little bit. First, I've got a waterer to refill for them. chicken snacks to keep the chickens occupied while I'm going in and out of the uh, chicken run. tire has been in here since we've had the chicken run. It's actually one of the more unusual items that I rediscovered out here when I was removing ivy from the place. We actually always intended it to be a dust bath, but because chickens like to dust bathe where it's dry, we haven't been able to use it that way until recently when we put the roof over our chicken run. Now that it's dry in here, I think this will work great as a dust bath. I've actually seen the chickens using uh, dust from the sawdust pellets that we use for bedding inside the coop itself to do their dust bathing. They've also just used the dirt right underneath the coop itself. We'll see if they like it here as well. Pretty easy, I just picked up a few bags of sand at the Home Depot. All I have to do is throw them in here and then we'll just wait to see if the chickens like it.
we'll have to wait to see if we need more sand than this. See how the chickens react to it first.
Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. Could I have picked a more dramatic piece of music for the anticlimax of watching these chickens not use their new dust bath? Life is good though. It's all about the chicken's journey, not the chicken's destination. People who know me will probably confirm that I tend to be pretty frugal and I don't like buying new shoes very often. But with these work boots, it was definitely time. There's another YouTuber out there, Justin Rhodes, who's been kind of an inspiration for us on our homestead. And his family has a saying, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. I'd just like to add, buy it new when they're really blown out.